Virgo. What's popping? What's going on in the life of Virgo from the 16th to the 31st, baby of August? What y'all got going on? Y'all learning them lessons? Y'all closing the karmic cycles? Y'all stealing them past life things? About that download, though, the other night, though. Y'all receiving all these downloads because they're pouring to you. This is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers of my cousin, Vertigo. Okay? Um, this is not a personal. It's a general. If you need a personal, they're $40 only for 30 minutes into the 20th. So hit me up. Also, um, I know y'all like, why you got your titties out? Because I woke up feeling like I Wonder Woman-ish, okay? And I got them good, so why not? All right? Mars is back at home. I'm going to be feeling myself a whole lot. All right? Um, and I'm wrong. Don't be asking me my business. Dang. <laughs> but I'm definitely um, embracing my sexy. And outside of this, I have something else that I'm trying to work on as well. Okay? So, um, we rocking. This is for my sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus and cross watchers of Virgo. I think I said that already. Also, my new subscribers, welcome to the family, baby. Thank you for all the love. The shares, the likes, the comments. Oh, family. What's up, baby? Are we evolving out here? Because that's what we are, that's what we are trying to do. Okay? Um, Y'all intuition is popping right now. Y'all literally feeling everything. 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 All right? So, this will be for my babies. Let's rock. Your first message is going to be coming from, um, oh, and also, y'all, my likes, shares, my subscribe, my comments. Y'all, thank y'all. I read every single comment. I may can't reply because y'all know y'all see Mocha is growing. I'm thankful. Mocha is growing. So I'll be looking. I'll be like, damn, they got 122 comments. Oh, no, I got a life. I can't respond to all of those. But I can love, love it. You know what I'm saying? When I can respond, I do try to go back and respond, okay, as much as I can. But y'all, thank y'all. I appreciate it. All right. So the first message for y'all comes from the Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels Oracle Cards deck, okay? Y'all message that jumped off the table for y'all like Scorpio is turquoise, okay? Spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. This card comes to you because you've been praying and meditating about your spiritual path. You may be feeling conflicts between your true beliefs, wondering whether to take a traditional or alternative route. Perhaps you've been studying or attending different religious or spiritual groups, trying to see where you fit in and find other people aligned with your values. Your religious upbringing and family culture are factors here. While you would like to make your spiritual path decisions independently, you find yourself being influenced by your past. You also want to make the right choice that is best for your soul, and you do recognize that some traditional beliefs have merit. Even when people have the same religious faith, they have different interpretations. It's unlikely that any two individuals agree on every aspect of religion or spirituality because it's a deeply personal experience. Your life lessons continue to shape your beliefs, so keep praying and following your guidance. Finding people who have similar or complementary beliefs, even if they're not identical, can lead to deep friendships that help you to navigate your own spiritual path. This card can also be about relationships that is experiencing conflicts because partners have different religious or spiritual convictions. This is a challenging situation for both people, and it needs to be handled with prayer and often counselors, okay? So, <clears throat> y'all, can't nobody choose which path you walking on but your ass. Can't nobody choose which path you walk on but your ass. Can't nobody choose which path. So if that's the case, if you allow people to choose your path, they're going to just walk up in your house, keep their damn shoes on, fuck your carpet up, come on, light their damn cigarettes and shit in your house. I mean, come on now, if you can speak up for those type of things, you can speak up for the things that you're convicted about. Keep your opinions. Stay true to yourself is what I'm hearing. Stay true to yourself. Okay, sometimes you may have to keep your opinions to yourself because other people is ignorant than a motherfucker, but that doesn't mean that you all have to hold back and confine the truth that you live by. You know, y'all my babies, so I'm going to let y'all know. Fuck them people. Two tears in a bucket. Fuck them. Okay? Spirit wants y'all to know. Some of y'all are really loving y'all self again. Some of y'all met an air sign, and this person got you looking in the mirror like, oh, Girl, you fine. Y'all might get up dressing out Wonder Woman and shit, shit too, going in the streets. Okay, only people safe, only people safe from the from the ooh of the boobies is the kids. Look at that, get one of these for the kids. Okay, but when they walk away, I'll be fine again. Okay, so some of y'all have uh air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That this person makes you see the beauty within yourself. Okay, I feel like you were already walking down that down that path, but some of y'all have met a new air sign. This person's come. 
continuously compliments you. Okay, I feel like this person literally brings newness into your world and make you look at things in a different way, even about yourself. A lot of y'all, your integrity, your self-love is what makes you sexy. Some of y'all have gone through lessons with lovers in the past, okay? you Some of y'all done dealt with sneaky motherfuckers. Some of y'all done dealt with the slick talkers as well as the wise person, okay? Look at this lady. She's covered with the snake, the sneaky motherfucker. The slick talk with the, the, the quick swift come in and out motherfucker and the motherfucker that wants to give you wisdom. They may didn't stay, but you, you you definitely learn something from these people. Okay? Even for some of y'all about yourself. And it's those lessons that you move forward with, my baby. Okay? Conquer your emotions. During this time, a lot of y'all are going to be thinking up about old things, okay, that you truly need to heal from. Okay? You truly need to heal. For my Virgos who recently disconnected from someone, possibly an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, I do see the baby. You need to heal. It's time for you to stop masking your emotions. Be true to your emotions, okay? It is You are entitled to have feelings about things that you don't like and things that really hurt you. But let those things go. Some of y'all are going to go into nature during this month and get you a good cry out. Some of y'all going to be in nature. Y'all going to get y'all crying out. Because after you release that shit, the things that you've gone on, the things that's made you who you are, the things that has built that, the thing that has built that wisdom that you, that, you, that it's your power to walk in, brother. That's why you're here. Wisdom. Okay? <clears throat> People don't understand. You cannot, you cannot grow from some shit if you ain't never experienced it or went through. Okay? It's, it's not going to happen. Period. Period. Point blank. Period. Okay, so I feel like some of y'all have a fire sign. Every little sash that comes in or not your world. This person comes in real fast. I want to reunite. They talk real slick and they come through like a thief in the night. Steal your damn heart and be out the goddamn door. Okay, I feel like during this time you're needing to ground yourself in nature. Will a lot of y'all receive a lot of y'all downloads? Some spirit is telling y'all to get outside, get outside and get your body moving. Okay, the things that you receive as downloads. Okay, they're, they're, for you guys, they're showing you how to move forward. For you guys, they're showing you the ways to your journey. But some of y'all, everybody, all y'all, trust what you feel. When people are interacting with you and communicating with you and you get that burning in your stomach, they tell you some bullshit. Trust what you feel, okay? So Spirit wants to tell my Virgos. Spirit, please give me the messages for... The 16th of the uh, the, or the 16th of the 31st of August 2018 for my Virgos, y'all. Yeah, some of y'all are walking away. Some of y'all got a Scorpio coming in. This person is a juggler. Maybe you could be juggling them as well, Virgo. But I feel like you could be juggling a Libra and a Scorpio. Maybe you're juggling a, a, a Scorpio and a Cancer. Two water babies. But I strongly feel like some of y'all are definitely healing from somebody with their juggling act, okay? And for some of y'all, y'all just recently cut off somebody. Some of y'all have an Aries Leo Sagittarius. They're going to be coming in during this time, y'all. They just don't want you to put them on child support. I don't know who that's for, but they coming in. They still not staying. They coming in like lightning, in and out. And this person is trying to save themselves from being on child support. For some of y'all, y'all standing in the way of that person's karma. And I feel like through the burdens that this person put you through with this in and out shit, every time they come back, they come back with some more karma. Stop saving ass, okay? Stop saving it. Quit nurturing this damn wolf back to back to damn uh, healing and restoration to bite your ass, okay? Stop it. Some of y'all are very indecisive about a tourist. You don't know whether to... Let that person go, walk away from that person, or to keep dealing with that person, because I feel like for some of y'all, you love a water sign. Cancer for some of y'all. Some of y'all is in love with a cancer. Some of y'all are healing from a cancer. Some of y'all have a water sign. I mean, a, a, a air, air, earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, and you're juggling this person possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and for one of them, spirit is telling you that one of them ain't gonna make it. Somebody got to go. For some of y'all, you're going to be um, moving away from an air sign and nurturing the relationship that maybe you once had with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Strong emphasis on the Taurus. Some of y'all are going to cut off a Libra for a Taurus. And some of y'all are going to cut off a Taurus for a Libra. Um, some of y'all, be careful because some of y'all could be pregnant by a water sign right now. And I feel like some of y'all moved away from this person, but that's going to bring you right back to them, okay? Because I feel like you're healing. But as soon as you fully heal from that situation and cut it off completely, you're going to find out you're pregnant, okay? 
Um, and congratulations, Mocha Love to Kids. No matter what the circumstances is, kids are always blessings, okay? I do feel like some of y'all had a Scorpio that left you out in the cold, okay? And now this person wants to come back and fix shit and shit because I feel like that's the person, too, that you could be pregnant by. And you could have met somebody else, and now you're kind of indecisive on what you want to do because you just like shit. I ain't missing nothing. Some of y'all, some of y'all let go. Some of y'all walked away from somebody, put somebody out, or we'll be putting somebody out. Strong emphasis on that Scorpio, and you're going to move away and be abundant by yourself. You're going to focus on your money because I feel like with some of y'all, there wasn't an equal level of give and take, okay? Somebody was giving more than the other person, okay? Some of y'all have a uh, Aerieville Sagittarius. You're moving away from your past. You're moving away from the past. You're moving away from this person, this fire sign from your past, you ain't got time for the shits. I see what's going on, my Virgo. Virgo, during this time, you also may have an earth sign that wants to come in and start over and uh, make sure that they're giving, that it's an equal amount of give and take. Or maybe an earth sign having issues with you because they feel like you don't give enough. Um, I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be communicating very strongly, especially with this fire sign. Look. You, there ain't no equal level of give and take. You bring your ass in, you talk a good game, but you don't give me shit. You don't do anything for me. I literally have to pick up the pieces by myself. Y'all letting that relationship die. Some of y'all got a, a Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, or a, uh, yeah, Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all are wanting to renew the love with this person, okay? But this person just wants to smash and dash, all right? But some of y'all, <laughs> Some of y'all got a Libra that put y'all in this energy as well. This person just wants to come in, smash and dash, they talk a good game, but that's where this integrity card come in. For some of y'all, you need to stand up for yourself. No, so you want to you wanna love on me, but you don't want to stay and deal with me? Get the fuck. Some of y'all are going to get the justice out of love with the water sign. Some of y'all got new babies on the way, honey. Congratulations. Uh, some of y'all definitely are building on a soulmate relationship. Possibly with the Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo, or a Taurus. Okay, some of y'all got marriage coming. Congratulations. Engagements in the building. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all are walking away from a burning some ass Aries. Okay, you wanted to resurrect the situation. You wanted the thing, you wanted the situation to work, but this person is not serious. This person could be the father of your child, but they burden the fuck out of you. So you're going to let that die and leave this person out in the cold. And in doing so, this person is going to come right back and take a leap of faith. Some of y'all, y'all putting this person out now, but eventually in the near future, you're going to move right back to this person. And I feel like this person has a juggling energy. Some of y'all feel like, okay, well, they cheating, so I'm going to cheat too. That is not the right thing to do. There's a lesson to learn in this, okay? Some of y'all, some of y'all intuitively know that somebody's not making a decision with you, the air sign, because they're juggling you with somebody else. This is definitely strong emphasis on Gemini Libra Aquarius as well as Taurus too. Some of y'all got some Taurus with the juggling energy in y'all life. Um yeah. Some of y'all want to put in the work with an air sign and this person constantly gives you indecision as well as a Taurus. Okay, this person gives you indecision like, well, I don't know. Well, you're healing from that energy. Some of y'all are definitely healing from a cancer. Cancer uh, cancer and Virgo was kind of hitting, hitting heads, okay? Some of y'all want to heal the situation with a cancer because you love that person, you know? You want things to work. However, for some of y'all who are trying to heal the situation with a cancer, this person mutually feels the same thing. So that's going to work out just fine. You need to ground yourself in the midst of y'all being separated. Some of y'all could not the air sign. You can't give me what I can give you, okay? I'm giving you way more than what the hell you giving me. Strong emphasis on Libra, so I got to go. Some of y'all have a Capricorn, okay? This person, I'm going to say it. Spirit, Spirit got me going there. Some of y'all got a Capricorn intentionally trying to get you pregnant to hold on to you because I feel like this is this person's way of thinking that that's going to keep you because they have run out of every damn answer that they can get to keep you because they know and they see they feel the disconnect. They see that you want to go on about your business. They're not having it. they like, no. I feel like intuitively y'all already feel that, okay? You feel that it's being done on purpose, but this person is trying to paint it up with love, like, oh, yeah, our family, this, 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 but every time they find out that you're not pregnant, they kind of got an attitude because I feel like this has been going on for like about four or five months that this person has been doing this. I'm talking to somebody. Y'all come in because I see this tea very strongly. Some of y'all have a Scorpio who could possibly be dealing with a Pisces. 
that you've been trying to work it out with, that secret is gonna hit the fan, and that Scorpio is gonna that yeah, that Scorpio is gonna get the gonna get the fucking boot. Some of y'all, Virgo, some of y'all are moving away from a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag, and this person, you definitely got a family with this person. Some of y'all are moving towards a Virgo, another Virgo, like yourself, and leaving the Aries Leo Sagittarius, and you're gonna be victorious in doing so. Some of y'all don't, don't want nobody. You just gonna focus on your money, baby. And if you must know your money looks good, money's gonna be looking good mid month. Yeah, some of y'all are gonna move away from somebody who has been long overdue for you to move away from and focus on your coin. And this person gonna want to. This person gonna put a emotional manipulation card on you. This person is gonna feel like you're not trying to see me. Why come I'm not good enough? Okay, don't be a victim of somebody else's feelings. Ground yourself. You're needing to during this time. Because I feel like some of y'all already felt that energy about this person. And some of y'all may be getting up and maybe be feeling like, well, how come he didn't want me? How come this you know why? Because you got somewhere to be. You got a whole soulmate. Some of y'all dealing with a soulmate, some of y'all dealing with a twin flame. But whoever y'all dealing with, integrity is more attractive this month. Put your fucking foot down, okay? Some of y'all needing to heal, okay? For those of you who have let somebody go and you in a very healing a healing energy, baby, let it go. You got one more conversation to have because I do see let it go. You got one more conversation to have that's going to give you clarity in order for your new new to start, okay? Somebody, some of y'all got a new new with a fire sign. Every real Sagittarius. Some of y'all have got some new passion, you know, new passion opportunities as, far, as well as newness as far as jobs as well. I see that in the building too. Uh, some of y'all definitely got an earth sign. Kept pointing towards Virgo, trying to hold on to you. This person is possibly using financial tactics, like trying to hold on, offer you money and things of that nature. Even though shit is rocky as fuck, it seems like every time you get that inch out the goddamn door, he come this person. Oh, baby, I got something for you. Oh, this, 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 this. This person is not going to change. They're going to continuously do that shit until you lay your foot down to be like, fuck it, I got my own money. I'm going to focus on my money myself. I'm not dealing with it. Okay? So hopefully this uh, this helps. But yeah, definitely, y'all are definitely moving away from your past, moving away from past perspectives, past people, moving away from the, the way that you used to do things. For some of y'all, you have a, a reuniting coming up. Somebody is reconciling possibly with a fire sign, okay? Or just possibly a, a blended family. Some of y'all coming together within a blended family. For some reason, I feel like some of y'all are kind of indecisive on which way you want to go. Or maybe you're not trying to see the way that you need to go. But some of y'all are definitely blowing a damn whistle on resurrecting a family situation. Somebody who you could have kids with, okay? You're coming out of a cycle and going into a new one. And it's up to you what works best for your life, period, all right? So I love y'all. This is what I have for my Virgos between the 16th and the 31st of August. I will see y'all. I'll crimp some light with my little red, red turn heads hair. <laughs> September the 1st. I love you cousins. Hit me up for that personal reading, though. Mwah.